Hello there. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the front wing on a Nissan Micra K11. This may be necessary if it's rusty, dented or scratched, and in my car's case, we have two out of three. Welcome to CarSpy TV. Right. Step one is to remove the side indicator that's built into the wing. To do that, slide the indicator either forwards or backwards, depending which way it wants to move. In this example's case, that's forwards. So forward we go. And now we pull the indicator out of the wing, like so. And we now need to separate the orange lens from the bulb socket on the back. So I grab the bulb socket as I am now, and then twist the lens anti-clockwise. And then pull. And with a little bit of fiddling, they come apart like so. And now to keep the bulb and all the wiring safe, we're just going to pop them back inside the wing. Just like that. We now need to remove the wheel arch liner, which is held in place by screws, clips, and a bolt. Now my car's missing a few fasteners, but I'll show you what I can. For example, we have a screw there, as well as one there. We also have a screw there, just at the end of my finger, and also another one here, near where the wing meets the bumper. As for plastic clips, well, there's supposed to be one there, but it's missing on my car, as we can see. And we're also missing plastic clips from there and indeed here. So, as we're missing all the plastic clips on this side, we'll get on with the screws. Now, we don't have space here for a full-size screwdriver, so instead we're using this short, dumpy one. But if you don't have one of these, you can always make a little more space by taking off the wheel. Here comes one of the screws. And by the way, I have... Where's it gone? lubricated all the screws with GT85 to encourage them to come out a little easier. And so far, that's working. There we go, all these screws have been removed. So we now need to undo a bolt under the front bumper, just up there. There it is. And for that, we need a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet, of course, and it should come out quite easily. The wheel arch liner should now pull straight out, although it might be a little bit fiddly. Come on now, out you come. Making progress. Doesn't look like we've missed any fasteners. <laughs> Mind you, we are missing half the fasteners on this car. Oops, spoke too soon. There's another screw to remove just up there. Here it comes. And while we're down here undoing this screw, I'm inspecting the sills on this car. And um, they're supposed to be full of rust, yeah? Good. <laughs> there we go. We now need to remove the bolts that hold the wing itself in place, one of which is only visible when the doors open. Specifically, we can see it just down there. 
Now this bolt is a 10 millimeter, but there's no room for my socket and ratchet. So we're having to resort to a traditional spanner instead. Now, hopefully it will come out quite easily. Not that easily though. This bolt will seem a little looser than you'd expect. Maybe someone's taken this wing out before. Oh, that might explain why we're missing most of the clips. We'll never know. We now need to undo two more 10 millimeter bolts and we can find them low down on the car, specifically there. Well, that's annoying. Bolt number one is so rusty that he just snapped in half and bolt number two is so rusty that he just stripped and now it's stuck. So there's the broken head of bolt number one, completely snapped in half. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about bolt number two yet. It's stuck in place, but stripped. And just look how much rust we have under this car now. Yeah. Better not poke around too much. <laughs> Okay, we have a plan. We're going to use a Dremel tool, which we have here, to cut a slot into the stripped bolt and then see if we can remove it with a normal flathead screwdriver. Place your bets now. <laughs> All right, so there's the groove we've made with the Dremel. And now we'll give the bolt another squirt of GT85 to further encourage it to come loose. And then we'll get a big screwdriver in there and see if it's worked. So, do you reckon it's going to come out? I certainly hope so. Come on, bolt. Well, it's not looking good. <laughs> nope, that didn't work. The bolt is just rusted into a solid piece of metal. We'll therefore grab the Dremel tool, cut the head off the bolt, and that should let us get the wing off. It's always the simple things. Right, well, the Dremel disc has just self-destructed. Look at that. I'm glad I was wearing eye protection. So I was going to cut a bit more off that bolt head, but hopefully we've done enough. If not, we'll worry about it later. We now need to undo another bolt, which is just up there. It's another 10 millimeter. And mercifully, this one's undoing. We now need to peel back the bumper, like so, and then peer down there for two more bolts that need to be removed, and we'll find those roughly there. Here's a close-up, and as we can see, I've slightly removed them already to make them easier for you to see. We now need to open the bonnet and remove four more bolts. Specifically, as we're working on the right side of the car today, this bolt here, which I've already loosened, then that one, again loosened, then this one, and finally, that one. Those bolts are now out and in the magnetic parts tray, which means the wing is almost free. So we can gently pull it away from the vehicle starting here and being careful not to scratch the paint anywhere but it is still slightly hung up down there at the front at this point the wing is only held in place by a clip down here near the headlamp it's tricky to see but here's a close-up 
And now we know that clip's there, and we need to pull it through the wing. We can wiggle the wing accordingly, and it should separate. Which it has. Come on now. Stuck on that piece of metal. There we go. Doesn't that look strange? That looks strange too. Now, if you find you can't separate that final clip in the manner I've shown you, then you can remove the headlamp to get better access. The headlamp is held in place by a nut which needs to be undone there and another one down there. There is also supposed to be a clip somewhere down there in that corner, but it's missing from my car. Naturally. This Pepsi is all I've had to drink during this job, and it's a hot day, so I am very, very thirsty. Is whiskey good for dehydration? As for installing the new wing, well, it's just a case of reverse the process I've already shown you, but if, like me, you've had to kill a couple of bolts to get this far, you'll have to find some new ones, which I'm hoping are in the garage. Anyway, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video? And while you do those things, I'm going to put all of this stuff away. Bye-bye.